they've played a really tough schedule like we have all year. You know, they played a bunch of Division II top 25 just like us, and they're one and three just like us. Maybe the biggest difference between them and us as they're moving up in the same year as the NCAA transition as we are, you know, the difference between them and us, you know, two years ago, we're one and nine in the NAIA, and they're winning the national championship Absolutely. in the NAIA, and they played again for it last year. Uh, Washburn, in their first game this year, broke their single season winning streak at 52 game or er, regular season winning streak at 52 games. So, you know, they probably had less further to go than we do to uh, compete at a high level at the Division II level. Uh, but you know, we've all got our challenges, and, and they're a very good football team. You know, they got beat up a little bit early. They played a one double A and two two really good Division twos, and and I got their first win last week against Minot State, which is a Division two transitional school too, up in that neck of the woods. And and uh, so you know, they got a lot of positives going into this game, and they're coming off a win, and we're coming off a loss, and they'll uh, they'll be hard to 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 contain defensively. Uh, for our defense to contain just because of all the things they can do. And then defensively, they're very similar to us, you know, with maybe just a little bit better, uh, you know, athletes in some spots. Uh, so we'll have our work cut out for us. It'll be a, a nice little trip up there. We'll leave Friday and, and uh, practice halfway up in Omaha and, and uh, get up there and get to bed and get ready to play on Saturday at 1.